This is a brief introductory tutorial video on filing to the Landowner Transparency Registry. In this video, you will learn the Landowner Transparency Registry filing requirements, how to create a transparency declaration and transparency report, how to e-sign and pay loader filing fees, and how to link a loader filing with a land title application. A filing to the Landowner Transparency Registry, which I'll also refer to as loader, is required when an application is made to register an interest in land as defined in the Landowner Transparency Act, which I'll also refer to as LODA. There are two primary forms for filing to loader, Transparency Declaration and Transparency Report. A transparency Declaration must be filed to the LODA administrator by the transferee or transferees. A transferee that is a reporting body must also complete and file a transparency report. A reporting body is defined in LODA as a relevant corporation, a trustee of a relevant trust, or a partner of a relevant partnership that is required to file a transparency report under LODA. A TD and TR can be submitted together in a joint filing or a TR can be submitted individually in certain circumstances. To begin a loader filing, click on the Submissions menu and select Landowner Transparency Registry. From the landing page, click on Go to Loader Filings. Most filings will begin with a transparency declaration. But when relevant, a standalone transparency report can also be created. Enter information in each section of the transparency declaration. If the transferee is a reporting body, the transparency report will automatically be created by the system and will be nested under the transparency declaration on the loader filing page. In this example, the transferee is not a reporting body. Information is automatically saved as you press continue through each section of the transparency declaration. If you need to close the transparency declaration without completing it, you can use the Save Progress button. To quickly jump between sections, use the left side navigation. The transparency declaration must be signed by a certifier. A certifier is someone who has knowledge of the matters certified and authority to certify the document on behalf of the transferee or reporting body. Who the certifier is in each circumstance will depend on the transferee or the reporting body. In the case of a relevant corporation, the certifier may be a member of the executive or a director. For more information on certification, please see section 25 of LODA. There must be at least one certifier per transferee. When you've completed all of the data entry, Validation will ensure that no mandatory fields have been missed and that your filing is ready for next steps. You may not e-sign a document or file a package with red errors. However, you may e-sign a document or file a package with orange warnings if you believe that the form is correct and complete. If there are no red validation errors, you are ready to download an execution copy of the form to be signed by the certifiers. Following certification, the transparency declaration and or transparency report must be e-signed by the designate using a JURCERT digital certificate. Even after e-signing, you can make changes prior to the filing. However, it will be necessary to have the certifier sign and date the new execution copy before the designate can reapply their digital signature to the form. Once submitted, a loader filing can no longer be edited. Each time the interest holders in a reporting body change, the reporting body must file an updated transparency report. The reporting body may choose at any time to file a new transparency report to complete or correct information in a previously filed transparency report. All loader filings must have the appropriate fees paid after the designate e-signs and before they are filed to the Landowner Transparency Registry. For standalone transparency reports, 
press the Submit button from the Execution Copy page. For Transparency Declarations, press the Pay Loader Fees button. The filing status will change to Ready for Submission. Take note of the Transparency Declaration ID number indicated on the page. You are now ready to associate the loader filing with your land title application. In your land title package, select the Loader Reference tab. Enter the Transparency Declaration ID number in the Transparency Declaration ID number field and press Add. For land title registrations that are excluded from filing a Transparency Declaration, check the Exclude from Loader box. Click on the Type of Exclusion drop-down box to make the appropriate selection. Click on the Submit Package tab to return to your package view. Prior to submitting, click the Validate Package button to ensure there are no validation errors. Submitting your land title package will also file the loader documents to the Land Owner Transparency Registry. The transparency declaration that was just filed will no longer show in the act of filings. Click on the File tab to view previously filed transparency records. This concludes the tutorial video on land owner transparency registry filings.